Hi, girls. You're good? Yeah. Yeah? Is anybody else going to join me? Yeah? I'm sorry. That's okay. Three. Three? That's excellent. Because we have those boys too. So that, that's going to be perfect. You guys take a seat over there. Now this, the analytics of the game. Points per possession. So what what are the three most valuable shots point per, points per possession? At the rim, free throws, and open threes. Okay? One of you is playing guided defense. The defense is going to start with the ball. Okay, all you're going to do is flip the ball, tilt it, and then you're going to either drop off, you're going to give a, a left or a right read. Okay, so you're going to go here, here, and drop off. Okay, what are you going to do? I said read that. As soon as you catch it, make the decision. Okay, and then switch on as he just dump those. So, the thing that we just worked on there was first touch decisions. Next, the next progression to this one would be you throw the ball. And now, if I give a left or right, now it's a chest and shoulder read. Okay, so you go. If you see my shoulder, my arm, Going. Good. If you see my chest, some sort of change direction. And then they either have to make the extra pass or the shoe or the drive it. And then the last one is into space and out to space. That's something that we're going to look at. You can either catch a shoe or you can make an extra pass, one extra pass to score. Defense. Play it however you want. You can throw the ball out, close out, you can throw the ball out and try to steal it. Whatever you want. You can only make one extra pass. Now it's if you if you catch it, you can decide to drive. If you drive, you can finish at the rim, or you can make one kick out. Whoever is on your team, so the other person, they have to receive outside the 3.1. Okay? No cut, no cut, no cut. You've got to receive outside the 3.1. The game model is a combination of the moments of the game and the principles of the game. Uh, the second defender, you're going to start with your head under the rib. The first defender, you're still on the clock here. Okay? So, same decision, first catch decision. I catch it, shoot, pass, or drive. Yeah. Good. So we need to make a first catch decision so that we can keep the advantage. Okay, ready? Go. Now we got a uh, wing and the opposite wing. It's what we worked on just at the start. So when you throw the ball to somebody and you're either short on a closeout or slight to the left, slight to the right. That's what we mean by positional advantage. So that is a type of domino. Okay, Matilda's gonna hand the ball off to you. So you're gonna play cat and mouse. So if they chase you, you go. If they stand behind you, Shoot it, they come the other way, you go the other way. Cat and mouse. Good. Okay. All your job is, is to try and keep your the offensive player to drive wide. So you're gonna force them into wide drives. So all that means is you're trying to get them to drive outside the elbow and below the hatch. If you do that, and they miss, and you get the rebound, the defense gets a point. If they go through those two positions, then no points. So now we're gonna add more moments to the game. So that's a different phase of the game. So we're gonna play the one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Uh, wide drive or not, defense gets it if it's a wide rebound, and you get it, and you go and you play one on one 
this way. Go up, and we're gonna do the same thing on the way back. You feel the shoe up, boys. You feel the shoe up. We have to get both feet out and out, and then we're back in. And then when we get down here, we're done. Ah. Right. Good. Okay. Any thoughts, comments? So I've always learned that you should stop middle. I mean, we haven't discussed this before, but that you should stop middle and have the basic you drive. The philosophy. Yeah. Wide drive. I can force him to drive wide. So underneath this hash mark, ideally. Then we don't have to help. If we don't have to help, we don't have to rotate. If we don't have to rotate, we're not giving up a 2v1. We don't have two on the ball. We've neutralized the possession. When you said like you keep it neutral from there, yes. I'd argue like if you still like not influence but like angle yourself a little for him to drive baseline, uh, that would take away like more passing options than rather keeping him middle. Um, this game model is flexible. Okay. So like I say all the time, the only absolute is there are no absolutes. So I'm I'm giving you a pretty like loose concept here, like wide drives. But if you can shade baseline and still make them take wide drive, if and you have a rationale for why, because of the passing angle, yeah. run with it.